I think it's ultra important to uh, be able to have an idea before you jump into the CAD. It's, I think it's really important to be able to envision um, exactly what you're trying to accomplish before you get into CAD. So um, uh, a client of mine um, uh, has a medical product that requires this black tubing and uh, there's something that goes in the black tubing and so you buy the black tubing and it's all um, uh, it's all closed and we need to cut it right down the middle well if you try to do it with a scissor it's really jagged if you try to just hold the tube and, and cut it with a knife it's all over the place so we need something to use um, uh, so we can make this cut so um, so we get into um, the ideation. I think I, I think I have a pretty good idea how to do it, and that is I'm going to um, have this device. So I'm going to build a device, and I'm just going to do a hand sketch of the device. And the device has a top plate that looks like this. And I'll put it on my tiny little table saw, and I will make a cut in the middle of the top plate, just like that. Now this is going to be wood, um, and so what I'll do is I'll put some metal pieces on the on the top plate, and I'll screw it down so that you know those will go right there, down there. The other one will be right there. So I'm drawing in an exploded view. So there'll be two uh, metal pieces, metal, wood. Okay. Then, um, underneath, I'm going to have what I'll call a cradle. This, that'll look like that. And the cradle will cradle perfectly the tube. I'll draw the tube over here. And I'll make the tube, or I'll make the cradle just a little bit smaller than the tube, so I'll shove the tube in there. Now, the whole idea is to take a knife, sharp knife, and utility knife kind of thing, and shove it down in this little crack. Um, the metal is there so that, that the knife won't cut into the wood, and then we need something to make sure that the knife doesn't cut all the way through on both sides of the tube, so I'll have a dowel um, I'll call the dowel the mandrel, and I'll shove the dowel in the center, I'll put that in there, and then this uh, top plate will have to have some sides on it, like this, so that it fits perfectly over here. Uh, so that's one idea. Um, the other idea that might work is to have a dowel with a blade that sticks out of the dowel, like that. And the dowel will then have like a handle on it, like that. And this blade will uh, rotate in some way. And so you shove the uh, this the dowel with the blade inside of the tube. This is going to be about 24 inches, so it wouldn't have to be that long. And then you deploy the blade and then you pull it through. But um, I don't know. I'm not so keen on that idea. But uh, we'll see. So great, so that's, that's my basic idea. This is the cradle. This is the tube. This is the mandrel. Uh, mandrel. Um, and uh, this is the top plate. Top plate. Just like that. So there's the hand sketch. Now that took just a minute or two, two minutes, I don't know what it was. Um, but that really is going to make uh, my CAD a lot easier. So having uh, finished the hand sketch and, and the idea, then of course I jumped into the CAD, which is really easy once you've done the hand sketch. And as you can see, I've got the different parts. I've got the cradle here, the tube, the mandrel, the top case. I've got these little shields here and even the knife. So this is a very nice way to work. And then, of course, uh, for example, the cradle. There's the actual cradle. Uh, as you can see, I didn't just extrude something. I made it out of, I made it in a way that I'll actually manufacture it. I'll use this 0.75 thick 
wood because that's kind of the standard they call it one by stock it's um, it's actually you know when you say one inch it's actually 0.75 when you say it's a two by four it's actually not two by four it's one and a half by three and a half so <laughs> that's always a little strange and then uh, for each of these uh, components I um, did a drawing uh, there it goes so there so uh, there's the there's the drafted simply drafted uh, views this doesn't have any GD&T or anything like that you know we're just gonna create a wood real quickly it doesn't have to be that perfect um, other things that we do are designed and drafted to the finest little detail uh, but not this okay so I have this uh, kick plate that I got from Home Depot and I'm going to cut this into a nice thin strip and this is going to make sure that my blade doesn't vary so if I just made a thin cut in wood as I put my blade through it it might you know cut the wood so this will hold it perfect so this is a band saw that capable of cutting metal and it'll cut, cut through like butter. There you go. Now these edges are kind of uh, jagged because it is a saw blade so I'm going to now sand them. Okay, so we need two more of those. Sharp scissors on metal. Uh, these, are the, these are the shields that I need because they guide the blade. They're gonna guide the blade perfectly. So here's a top plate that's fully fully done. As you can see, there's a nice little groove right in there. And that will guide the blade so when I cut this thing, it'll be perfect. So all I'm doing now is uh, taking these shields and putting the right little curves on them. I'm not a fan of sharp corners because they hurt people here and there. So I'm getting rid of all the sharp corners, like so. There you go. I'll put it on the sanding disc to make it a little, a little bit more perfect. This thin metal sands up really nicely. Perfect. Holes. I've already got a set of holes here, so it's going to make it easy to mark it. And over to the drill. So here's the new pitch. You can peel the plastic off. Like that. Get it lined up perfectly. Is it kind of impeding my vision here a little bit. In perpetuity. There we go. It's almost perfect. There we go. Just a little adjustment. Another screw. Make sure it's lined up perfectly. It is. we go. Okay, so now I'll just do the other side and I'll have another plate. Okay. And now we get to use our patented tube skyfer, skive cut. So you basically grab the tube, whichever way it's curving, you want to put it into the cradle so that the curve is upward. Cut it off like this, leave a little extra, 
Okay, we got the mandrel, which is just a dowel. Shove it in there, like so. Okay, put over the shield, like that. And then, now I gotta make sure I hold this blade straight up and down and press hard. I get in there and I cut. And I cut and I cut and I cut and I cut. And perfect. Look at that. And it's a perfect cut. There's a little at the end that didn't get exactly cut, but there we go. There we go. And that's a perfect straight cut there. So it feels really good when a plan comes together and it works. So here's the finished product that's, that we're making for this customer. Here's that little shield thing, the cradle, the mandrel. And now we have to uh, use it a whole bunch of times. Here's the original uh, hand sketch. And um, there you have it. Uh, my name is Steve Samuel. Um, Design Visionaries is the company, and please, uh, uh, if you can, uh, subscribe to these videos. There's going to be many more, and uh, like them, share them with your friends, and uh, don't uh, hesitate to uh, uh, contact us.